Welcome back to Child Time Pod. It's your host, Red. Got a video today from Average Man Unplugged. You guys all know the single mom song. Apparently, the single moms of TikTok are trying to get this man banned. Protect this man. Please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that child. It's child time. I'm a baby mama to a narcissist, so of course whenever we broke up I don't want to hear you talk shit about your baby daddy, ever He may be a clown But you let him hit it wrong You didn't have second thoughts Now you're a single mom Now you're a single mom Look bitch, all I'm saying is If you told that man you cannot have his child Until he makes you his wife I'm not saying he gonna wife you but I'm saying you will know where you stand and you can act accordingly. Y'all remember when I stitched that video about that woman who became a man, and then they got on the internet crying, talking about something never knew how lonely <laughs> being a man was. And then I was like, you be all right. <laughs> man up, nigga. You ladies were crying laughing about that, but I guess uh, now I'm hitting a little bit too close to home, huh? Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. <laughs> Yo, bruh, what's going? <laughs> what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, hope you subscribe. So, this young man here is making the rounds on TikTok, and he got women, especially single moms, in an uproar because this song has gone viral and. I think I've even seen it in my comments a time or two. So with it popping so much on my feed, I figured, man. Bro, it's super vile. You guys literally see me do the dance every single time I hear it. <laughs> that's how that's how much I love the song. And I haven't really seen nobody cover this, so I figured why not talk about it because women are hot about this. <laughs> so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. This next video is kind of long, and I'm going to try my best to sit through it as long as this woman don't talk too stupid but something tells me she is so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it bro so i legit made a video in response to that uh viral single mom song he was like you let him hit it raw you didn't have second thoughts now you're a single mom now you're a single mom and in the video i pretty much started off talking about race and a lot of men were trying to act like they were confused about why I even brought up race when he did not specify in the song what race the single mother is. So I was trying to explain to y'all that it's a black man who created the song, right? So now there's already this stereotype that black men. All right. If you want to go with that, what is oh ho 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 oh ho ho ho. What song is that? That is, everybody was kung fu fighting. And it was created by a black man speaking on Asians, Asian actions, Asian things. Did Asians get upset about this? I actually really love the song, to tell you the truth. It's one of my favorite songs since I was a kid. But so, just because it's a black man creating a song doesn't mean he's portraying black people or talking about black people anyway people can create songs about other people and other races all the time and do not take care of his children right and since a single woman is nothing but a woman who had a father who abandoned their child i don't think that it was a good look for the community and i spoke on him being a fair-skinned black man and i stated that there's already division outside of the community and we have to deal with it within our own community and he even said that on his page and then he said that oh well all my life i've been approached and uh other races talk about black men because they perceive me as one of the good black men and then he put on his hood and was like i'm one of them ones like now you're trying to overcompensate i'm going to share a clip one of the funniest things about being light-skinned is that my entire adult life, so many non-black people feel so comfortable coming up to me, expressing their negative opinions about black people because I'm perceived as one of the good ones. <laughs> nah, bitch. 
I'm one of the ones. Community and we have to deal with it within our own community. And he even said that on his page. And then he said, he's saying that he's one of you guys. He's, he's, he's not any different than what they're trying to portray him as. They're trying to say he's better because he's light skinned. No, he's saying he's black. He's just like black, like everybody else. There's no difference. This is what he's, I believe that's what he's trying to say. I could be wrong. At that, oh, well, all my <clears throat> life I've been approached and uh, other races talk about black men because they perceive me as one of the good black men. And then he put on his hood and was like, I'm one of them ones. Like now you're trying to overcompensate. I'm going to share a clip. One of the funniest things about being light skinned is that my entire adult life, so many non-black people feel so comfortable coming up to me, expressing their negative opinions about black people because I'm perceived as one of the good ones. <laughs> nah, bitch, I'm one of the ones. You finna get fucked. Another reason I brought up race was because on his page, there are three white women rocking three black baby dolls with the song playing in the background. So I said, you're the one opening these doors for them to demean us because you're doing it yourself. So a lot of men commented on the post and was like, you women have no accountability. Stop opening your legs to these men and blah, 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 blah. It's funny that he's saying that it's talking about black women, but he featured white women on the music video, like you said. So how is that him targeting black women or saying black women are the ones that are the single moms? He's actually making fun of men, the black men in the community, I think, showing that all these white women are having black kids. I think that he's, he's more pointing that out than anything. I don't know. I don't really care. The song is catchy. Uh, see, if you go on my page, you will see a viral post where I say some men are not players. They're predators. They lie to women. They manipulate women. And y'all need to stop acting like that. All us women just get pregnant from one night stands. You get what you I'm do. saying? Like some people be in relationships with these men. They begin love bomb. These men be buying them gifts, giving them compliments. Some women are insecure. Some women, you know, are, their father. So it's our fault that you're insecure, that you chose these men, that you fucking made all these mistakes. It's all our fault still. Oh, gotcha. So they're searching for love from other people. I'm not saying that women should not have accountability for who they're sleeping with. All I'm saying is it takes two you're to kind of saying that. And regardless of whatever the relationship was between the man and the woman, at that point, once the child is here, it's about that child. So the woman decides to fulfill her motherly duties and be responsible and nobody's more accountable than a mother that stayed even do, though she knew it would be hard you know what i'm saying even if the man just disappeared and vanished and she stayed there with that child a lot of y'all men would not even exist if y'all mothers did not decide to not be cowards like the men that run off on them and take care of y'all and you even have some that basically said like oh do you think these men are happy with their lives and happy to see all these things that they were raised this way? No, they understood how hard it was and they don't want to give it to their own offsprings and they don't want to live that same life. These men are learning from those mistakes. Why are you women not learning from the same mistakes that your mothers made and your grandmothers made that are constantly making the same mistakes now? Men are learning these things. Women have not. Well, y'all can get an abortion. Let me tell y'all what the difference is between a woman getting pregnant and a man getting her pregnant. A woman getting pregnant, she's growing this in her body. You cannot just assume that all women want to sit up there and get rid of their children. Some women literally need counseling after that. Like you literally are your own child that's growing inside of you. Everybody do doesn't have the mental capacity to do that. Either way, I don't give a fuck. If people don't have the mental capacity to do it, people have been able to do it throughout all of time without much issues. And nowadays, there seems to be some kind of issues when we have so much technology, so much support, so much everything. But women still seem to think that it's the best choice or that they're doing good or whatever it is. Maybe don't lay with men that aren't going to be fathers. That, will, that might be a good deterrent for a lot of this you're saying women are not accountable when men literally be in a relationship with them and disappear whether a man is married to a woman or not men run off on their families all the time I 
I'll agree with you. There's men that do. But women still seem to choose these men. Women are not choosing the good men. I'm going to bring it in again. Future and fucking Nick Cannon. Eight baby mamas. I'll give an excuse for two of the baby mamas. The first one had no clue. Second one had some kind of idea. She thought she still might be the one. The third one, you're a fucking idiot. And the rest of them are even beyond more idiots than that. But yet you're, you guys are choosing the men that are not going to be fathers. I don't think that's funny. Then they even tried to compare it to the Sexy Red song where she was like, fuck my baby daddy. Like, honestly, I think it's a difference if you want to be technical. Do I think that song was good for the community? No. But one thing I do will say is it's a difference between saying fuck your baby daddy because he said fuck the child and actually making fun of your baby daddy for being a single father because the mom ran off because she's a fucking piece of shit. We don't we don't feel bad for single fathers. Because single fathers are fucking ruling. They're they're doing their job. They're taking care of their kids. They're not complaining. They're not coming on TikTok bitching about there's no good women out there. They don't care. They're doing their business. They're handling their kids. They're providing for their kids. It's you single moms that seem to have issues that are looking for all the good men. Where are all the men that are going to take care of my kid? Where are all the men that are going to pay for my babysitter and all this jazz? Then you got all these men on there, bomb, bomb, and you mad. I don't have to be mad because I didn't have my kids by just anybody. I was in a long-term relationship with my ex-husband and all my kids are by him. He made six figures and paid all the bills. He but was a good dad, but he wasn't that great of a husband. And in fact, my kids are with him right now. He's probably up right now at eight this morning, getting them ready for school. You know what I'm saying? But you know, the ironic fact about it is he's not a black man. And I, oop, I actually have so many uh, black co-workers. I went to school with so many black women that were in relationships with these men. And you would think that the men were treating them right. Soon as they got pregnant, goop, he dipped off. I think the real issue here is why do y'all- So you just mentioned it that you're single and, and you're a single mom and black and you weren't with a white man. So why are you, you are actually putting your own race and your own thing into this now saying that I'm black and yeah, he is talking about me because this happened to me. He never really put race on it because it happens to all races. I'll not give a fuck about y'all kids. And why is, why are women being blamed for everything? You know what I'm saying? Like y'all- You have no urgency? Literally go have sex with a woman, be in a relationship with her, whether y'all married or not, and literally just see her carrying your child and just be like, you know what, fuck this kid. Y'all go out in the clubs, y'all be buying shoes and clothes for y'all selves, y'all be- It's not the men, it's the other men, the ones that we are, have nothing to do with your fucking baby that are judging you, and yeah. Fucking just parading around like y'all just don't have a human being that y'all help create on earth. That is so wild to me. And then the the fact that y'all want to sit up there, it's like y'all have cognitive dissonance. Anything that challenges a belief that you already have in your motherfucking head, to y'all, it just, ah, we refuse to have any accountability. Like, that's crazy to me. Like, you have some women whose baby daddy literally, you know, is not. You guys, that f clip is like 10 minutes long. I think I probably played about five, six minutes of it. I couldn't sit through any more of that shit because she's starting to piss me the fuck off. Yep. Because first of all, ma'am, you contradicted yourself literally while you're over here going on this rant. How are you going to sit over here and say that it wasn't a good look for the community because we always we already have this stereotype that black men are abandoning their children but then you go right into all these excuses, alleviating accountability off of women and saying that men are just abandoning their kids. Did y'all not notice that? Am I the only one that noticed that she did that? How are you gonna sit over here and say it's a bad look because y'all are already stereotyped as abandoning y'all children, but then all you do is, is dip into all these different scenarios where the woman is innocent of, of, of the whole situation because the father left or the father was a predator or whatever else fucking excuse that she came yep. up with that's a bunch of nonsense and then you want to sit over here and try to make a comparison to the sexy red song because she said fuck my baby daddy did she say that because the, 
her baby daddy said f them kids i don't follow sexy red at all but i know what song you're referring to and i don't remember her saying that her baby dad said f them kids so that's why she said f her baby daddy yep so that's a bit of a reach but it just goes to show you how far you will go to try to alleviate the accountability off of women sisterhood and women are so quick to say that it takes two to tango but we all know it only takes one to decide who comes into this world or not <laughs> and it's not men and t- take it from somebody who actually wanted to be a father and the woman decided to go behind my back and actually get the and get the uh the deed done. unalive the child in the first yeah. place y'all know we ain't allowed to say the a word which is ridiculous because that's the proper way of uh, saying it but... i agree so to sit over here and try to use the term cognitive dissonance as if like you know exactly what you're talking to man uh, i would actually argue that you are the one with the cognitive dissonance because you were the very same one that in one breath said that it was a bad look because we're already stereotyped as not being there for our children which we all know that stereotypes come from angry bitter black women sick single moms at that but then to turn around and start going into all these different scenarios like like most black men are like that and and if you and if you need proof ma'am check out this next clip created the song right now there's already this stereotype that black men do not oh i ain't gonna lie the way this single mom song got y'all up in arms is hilarious to me y'all in these comment sections writing whole thesis statements making 10 minute 15 minute videos first of all let's get the stereotype out the way okay because we 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 debunked this so many times Black men are the most active fathers. Yep. More active than white men, more active than Mexicans, Latinx community. More active than Asian men, for sure. Asian men's are, are very on business. My father and I did not really have much time together when we were growing up. He was busy handling business, he, and a lot of it, taking care of the donut shop. He was taking care of my aunt's donut shops, traveling back and forth a lot. He did his thing. Did I get to play ball with him and do all these other things? No, I didn't get that. But he was a good father. He provided. And that's what is mostly important, to tell you the truth, for most kids. Yeah, he gave me some guidance here and there. But my father was probably not as good as most black fathers where they are very into their kids' life. They are into their kids' sports. They're into their kids' things. I've seen it. A lot of my black friends and their fathers... Their fathers were awesome fathers. I always called them uncles. Whatever you want to call it. You don't believe me? Look it up. Secondly, y'all the same girls that be on your IG stories, your, 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 your Snapchat stories, your Facebook, your TikToks, twerking and rapping along to music that promote not taking the black man seriously, cheating yes. on them, robbing them, scamming them. Hell, Cardi B went to court for drugging and robbing men, something she admitted to, then had the audacity the reenact the whole thing in a music video. But when men bring up this stuff and talk about how that's detrimental to the community and how that's wrong, yada, 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 what y'all tell us? It's just music. It's just entertainment. Why are y'all so narcissistic thinking everything about y'all? Let the creators create and all that. It's like, bro, if we got to get on this app on a daily basis and hear how we trash, nobody want us, nobody ever going to want us, we ain't never going to be nothing. Y'all should be okay with a dude jumping on a catchy beat and calling the single moms a single mom. Yeah. Even if it is on key. Like, God dang. <laughs> Who said y'all was the most active? The most disrespectful and disappointing? Yes, y'all are. See, it's comments like this that let me know a lot of y'all's minds are already made up. Yep. It don't matter how much statistical evidence that y'all need to be shown y'all are still going to think whatever it is y'all want to think about black men see this graph right here and y'all went to school y'all know how to read graphs being an involved dad you see the orange that stands for black that's that's black men look how active the black men is these are actual publications different website the cdc found black fathers were more involved in their children's daily lives than any other fathers from various racial groups Yet these men still face unique challenges due to structural and systemic barriers. Speak on it. Whole different website. 
2013, study found that black fathers were more likely to be hands-on with their young children and are more likely to be the primary caregiver. To- oh, I hope people don't think I'm talking shit about my dad or anything about it. No. Yes, he was not so present in my life, but he bought me a brand new car when I graduated high school. He made sure you know, I, I had a good start in life. I, I have no bad things to say about my dad. So there are children than fathers of any other race? Look at this. Higher percentage of black fathers, 27%, took their children to or from activities every day compared with white fathers. Black fathers in the home were also more likely to help their children with homework every day to compare with Hispanic and white fathers. I mean, I could learn. It's crazy that they don't put Asians in here. I don't see anything about Asians in any of these studies. I wonder where we rank. I don't think we rank that high, though, in fatherly uh, time together. Really? These are actual publications done by the CDC, people who are people who get paid to do this kind of research. Like I said, a lot of y'all's minds are already made up of what you think about black men. But this black men are a terrible fathers narrative. I don't know. I don't know where it started. I don't know what like, but clearly it's false. You can't find me no publication. I've I've searched for publications to show that we're not the most active. I can't find none, but it was so easy for me to find that we are the most active. But what do I know? I don't have kids, by the way. And when you look at a lot of those publications that I just put up, the time span is so spread out. Like the first half, you saw the dates were 2013. But then the second half, those dates were 2023 and 2024, which means we've been the most active. This ain't something that just happened. Yep. That's what cognitive dissonance looks like. Even when we got stats to show y'all that what y'all are saying is a bunch of bullshit and you still want to believe in this stereotype narrative that y'all are steering, not men. Don't sit over here and say it's the man with the cognitive dissonance. I don't want to... Remember, the other thing is more than 50% of black men don't have children. So all of the black children out there currently are been produced by half of the population of black men but they've been produced by majority of the population of black women so yes most black men are not deadbeats they don't even get a chance to be fathers because they're not chosen because they're probably lames i hear that shit let's keep it moving so why is that wrong There's very few men, very rare men, that will step up to the plate to take care of another man's child. Certainly. Well, you just, uh, let's say you raise your son, right? And uh, he became successful, became self-made millionaire, maybe he became a doctor or a lawyer, Mm -hmm. right? Making 300, 400K a a year, right? Very successful. And he meets a woman that is 28, 29 with kids from another man. Do you think that's a good investment on his end to take that woman seriously and marry her? That's his life and that's his decision. (laughs) 30 now she has kids from another man would you want your son to take that woman seriously would you advise him hey you know what maybe it's better that you go and look for something else yeah what would you tell him because my son yeah your son come on diamond honestly i would say like no kids (laughs) find a bitch who doesn't have kids oh all right cool thank you Yeah. Finally, you're being honest. Yeah, okay. kids are fucking a drag, bro. It's a fucking tough world we're living. It, yeah. Kids are Could you a imagine drag. taking care of kids that aren't yours? That's yep. crazy. Fuck you, dad. You're not my dad. You're, you're my, my dad. mom. Fuck you. Yeah. All right, so I seen the post, and the post said, why do men hate Russell Wilson, but don't hate Future? Make it make sense. And the thing is, men don't hate Russell Wilson. We don't give a fuck about Russell Wilson. But women don't like Russell Wilson type men until they get older. Mm -hmm. I had shared the post and said those exact words and a girl hops in the comments and was like, oh, you you ever heard of evolving? Girls can't change their mind. They can't change their types. Well, we can evolve over time. My thing was women know what men are good for them at the moment and what men are not good for them at the moment. Y'all are so smart, but you're telling me you can't tell a bad man from a good man? You can't tell me Sierra really thought Future was going to be the man she was going to marry and grow old with. That man has eight baby mothers, eight different children with eight different women. You can't tell me she thought Future was the one. 
So when it I comes to that, oh, I can't it. change my type up over time. I can't evolve. Evolve from what? Dumb decisions? You know what man is good for you and what man is not. It's that simple. I just don't understand why y'all don't like the Russell Wilson type men when you're younger. But y'all wait until y'all get older and have a child possibly with another man to like a Russell Wilson type man. Make that make sense. Unpopular opinion. But women only like Russell Wilson or men like Russell Wilson because that man is going to step in and take care of another man's child. Yep. And the only women that like that are the single moms. I'm not throwing no shade. But bro, that is the only reason why y'all like Russell Wilson. Y'all call him a real man because he's taking care of another man's kid. Yep. Other than that, though, y'all don't really like Russell for who he is. Y'all don't. Because if y'all did, y'all would have got a Russell type man earlier in y'all lives. And I agree with him 100%. Why, why should we hate Future when he's the one with the multiple baby mamas? That means eight women, nine women were willingly, were willing to have his child knowing he had all these other baby mamas. Why should we hate him? He doesn't control whether those kids come into this world or not. Those women wanted his child because they wanted the bag. Let's be honest here. Yep. And the reason why, and it's really not that we hate Russell. It's just that we we hate the fact that y'all wait till y'all in y'all older years or y'all y'all done already had children. I'm telling the truth, I kind of hate Russell. I hate that the fact that men, even at successful echelons in life are still going to go for single mothers and go for horrible women that sucks like if sierra was a good woman you know something happened where she just happens to be a single mother maybe maybe but even then but the way sierra did it you just you're a fucking bitch children to deal with those kind of men and it goes to show you that in reality, y'all really know which men are good for y'all and y'all and, and not. But y'all just choose to deal with the men that are not good for you until un, until you you tired of it or because of the tingles. Older, already had children. The so vibe it's not that we hate Russell Wilson It's just that we hate the fact that y'all wait to the last minute to pick those guys, and then on on the other side want to complain about men. You can't sit over here and say that I want a Russell Wilson, but at the same time, want to sit over here and act like most men or all men are dogs. When in reality, y'all know there's plenty of dudes like Russell Wilson out there, but let's keep it all the way above. If Russell Wilson wasn't this millionaire quarterback, yeah, would y'all really like him like that? Nope. Because there are, I'm, I'm pretty sure there are guys out there that wouldn't mind stepping up and playing stepdad. Y'all just don't want them. Yeah. But I, I, and I've mentioned this before, but you know, they ain't going to own up to that. But y'all let me know what y'all thought about this. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. Oh, geez, I appreciate the love and support. Shout out to Rue. That was some single chow. <laughs> you know, in my family, I don't have any single moms other than my two aunts that were widowed well, you know their husbands died one of brain cancer and the other one was a car accident but outside of my family a lot of cambodians that i've met i've met throughout the years single moms a lot of other races asians hispanics single moms i am very fortunate and it really seems to matter how you were raised all of my family is very on it about it's not the best you know, we, we protect our, our women from that issue. And most of the, the women, whoever they marry, is actually been chosen by my, my family. There was maybe one cousin that chose herself. And she picked a man where my family kind of disliked. But my, my family still fully vetted him. And now he's the best cousin, the best family member out of all of the family members. Everybody loves him now. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah.